Hummus wants to eradicate all the Jews. Well, that's not true. Yes, it is. Read their charter. Article 16, Hamas affirms that its conflict is with the Zionist project, not with the Jews because of their religion. That's their 2017 charter. I'm talking about their 1988 charter. Well, the 2017 charter is the more recent one. Don't you think we should acknowledge the one that's actually relevant? They amended it for the optics. Source, trust me, bro? The 1988 charter is the only one that matters. Most of the current people in Hamas weren't even born in 1988. Hamas has never invoked their 1988 charter and they have since amended it. Look, the fact that they amended it does not matter. Mama said no take back seats. So by that rationale, we should totally disregard the 13th Amendment to the US Constitution, which outlawed slavery. No. Yeah, we should go back to the original US Constitution with the three-fifths compromise. No. But that's what you just said. Amendments don't matter. We should always hold a people to its original charter, no matter what. Look. No, you look. You are so blatantly performing mental gymnastics in your attempt to skirt the obvious truth. Which is? The 2004 advisory ruling of the International Court of Justice, which stated, one, that the Palestinian people do in fact exist. Two, that as a people, they are afforded their right to self-determine. Three, that their territorial unit is internationally recognized as the Gaza Strip, the West Bank, and East Jerusalem. Four, that Israel's illegal blockade and occupation of the West Bank and Gaza Strip constitutes a flagrant violation of international law and Israel must return to its pre-June 1967 borders. Hamas doesn't defend themselves. Look at their charter. They want to eliminate the Jewish population in the region. Wow, that's big if true. I mean, damn, that's crazy. You know what the great part about the internet is? We can go and look up this information for free. Google itself is free. Let's do a quick Google search and actually find the Hamas charter and read it and find out where does Hamas say that they want to kill all the Jews? Well, would you look at that? A quick Google search brings us to jewishvirtuallibrary.org where they have the entire text of the Hamas charter. Let's scroll and find the murdering Jews part. Hamas, general principles and policies. Look at this, we can just scroll all the way down and read. We can find the murdering Jews part, I'm sure, I'm sure it's here. I'm sure it's, it's somewhere in there. Article 16 of the Hamas Charter. Hamas affirms that its conflict is with the Zionist project, not with the Jews because of their religion. Hamas does not wage a struggle against the Jews because they are Jewish, but wages a struggle against the Zionists who occupy Palestine. Yet, it is the Zionists, aka Deborah here, who constantly identify Judaism and the Jews with their own colonial project and illegal entity. Gee, I don't know, Benny. Sounds pretty fucking based to me so far. Article 14 of the Hamas Charter states, The Zionist project is a racist, aggressive, colonial, and expansionist project based on seizing the properties of others. It is hostile to the Palestinian people and to their aspiration for freedom, liberation, return, and self-determination. The Israeli entity is the plaything of the Zionist project and its base of aggression. Wait, where's the murdering Jews part? It's almost like it doesn't fucking exist. Hmm, could this commenter just be full of bullshit? Could it be that comments like these are simply Zionist propaganda intended to derail the conversation, to muddy the water, and distract from the real issue? You here? I'll leave that up to you to decide. Right, because as we all know, the side that is picking peace in this situation is the side committing ethnic cleansing against a civilian population that has no way to defend itself. I cannot tell you how insufferable this is right here. This is big time loser energy right here. What they fail to understand is that when it comes to a vicious apartheid state regime which sanctions terror and violence for decades and decades, it is no surprise that militant groups like Hamas are the only ones that survive. All the moderate dissidents are dead. Israel vehemently opposes the idea of a two-state solution. This person will never really truly grasp truly grasp how much the Palestinian people have tried for peace over the years. They tried with Yasser Arafat. They tried with the PLO. They tried with the Fatah movement. And as they increasingly and correctly viewed the Palestinian Authority as being corrupt because the Palestinian leaders were groomed by the Israeli and United States, they have 
have been left with no other option. That is why in 2006, they elected Hamas. And even when Hamas was democratically elected, the United States and Israel sought to engineer a military coup that would seize power from Hamas. When Hamas preempted that coup, the United States and Israel and the Western media tried to say that Hamas was cooing its own government, as if that makes any sense. They just won an election. Why would they coup their own government? No, they were defending against a military coup that was trying to oust them from power. And because they had to do that, they had to consolidate their power. When you have an imperial, psychopathic, violent, terroristic, state power that is ruthless, what are you going to do? What options do these people have? They have no choice but to fight. They are not left with an out. In true liberal form, liberals always look at the surface. They judge an event as if it's divorced from the reality of which it is born, as if it has no context whatsoever. To a liberal, Hamas is just evil. I mean, that's the only way that they can describe it, right? The Hamas are just bad, bad men out to do bad, bad things, and they're evil, and they just want to wreak violence. Liberals never want to know the grievances. They don't understand how the policies that have shaped our world have contributed to terrorism. This person's never heard of Operation Cast Lead, which was an egregious, abysmal, destructive raid on Gaza, which killed 1,200 civilians and 350 children. Liberals never want to listen to the decades-long history of Gaza getting raided year after year, getting destroyed. They don't want to hear about the illegal sanctions and blockades, the fact that Gaza is an open-air concentration camp being laid to siege, not even just now, which has gotten much worse, but even before October 7th, it was technically under siege. It was technically being occupied by Israeli forces, even though the Israeli forces were deployed around the perimeter of the wall that was built to enclose the civilian population of Palestine. Is this not ringing true? Is this not making sense to you yet? That this is a fucking prison that they were hoarded into and then are getting air raided and bombed. If everyone thought like this, like violence is just violence, it doesn't matter who's doing it, all violence is bad, then slavery would have never been overthrown. If everyone thought like this liberal, we would have never overcome slavery, we would have never overcome the feudal system. Haitian slaves would have never been free from their French colonial oppressors. Because when it's white people doing the violence, it's fine. When brown people are doing the violence, that is not okay. So this liberal will totally disregard the power dynamic at play in this situation, totally disregard the power differential between these two social groups, one being a complete and dominant state power and the other being a prison population, basically third-rate citizens, subjugates, basically slaves, and they will look at the economic and the military and political devastation that one social group is doing onto another in material terms and still condemn the vulnerable group for lashing out, for acting out in violence because they have been left with no other option. They've been orphaned by society. They've been orphaned by the world. Nixon ordered Cambodian genocide. Clinton sent cruise missiles to Sudan. People died. Obama gave the orders to do drone strikes. Invaded Nicaragua in 85.